first compartment, 7 16th JIC male and females, half inch JIC males and females, 9 16th JIC males and females, 3 quarter JIC males and females, 7 8 JIC males and females, inch and 1 16th JIC males and females, and inch and 5 16th JIC males and females. Also, little packets of O-rings, which when you add them to your male, to the shoulder of the male plug, you actually create what's called a port plug, but a low pressure port plug. Now, how do we use them? First thing, for example, if we disconnect, if you're working on an excavator or a piece of machinery that has blown a hose or has some sort of hydraulic leak. And you've undone a hose. The first thing that you need to do is protect the valve from contamination if you're going to move away and do other things and also plug the hose. So for example, this looks like JIC, I'm pretty sure it is. If I grab JIC plug and cap. So straight away I've protected the hose and stopped oil leaking out of the hose. If this valve was an open center, in other words in the middle position, it's open to the pressure port and also the tank port. If the tank is higher, this will start oozing oil. Yeah, so by putting a cap You basically prevent oil from leaking out everywhere and losing basically a tank of oil. Generally, it's good for identifying the thread that you have actually on your hose fitting or the thread that you might have in your valves and adapters what you have in your cylinders and what you even have, what kind of threads you have in, for example, this is a flow divider. So if you have a known plug and known cap with a known thread, you can then identify what kind of hoses you have, what kind of adapters you have, and get them made or order the parts you need to make them yourselves. So this kit is good for hydraulic hose sizes or hydraulic fittings, you know, ranging from quarter inch inside diameter to three eight to half inch to five eight to three quarter ID all the way to one inch ID. So this is an inch and five sixteen. It's a you know a big range of sizes that this kit will actually do. So plenty of versatility in this kit. If, for whatever reason, you, were, you had broken this adapter, you remove the broken piece, grab your O-ring, so you now have an O-ring on that shoulder, once it goes into the port, you basically protected your cylinder from contamination and you've also created what's called a low pressure port plug. This won't take high pressure because the shoulder is not that big, but for preventing oil leaking out and preventing contamination going in, they're ideal.